Now, <clears throat> I've been battling with schizophrenia, and I'm finally getting over it, okay? So, but I still can't get over my bipolarity. Um, <laughs> I'm battling with schizophrenia, so, see this tree over here? There's a tree right there. See that tree? Now, <clears throat> <clears throat> the reason that it grows up is because the ground's too thick to grow through. Um, now, the roots, they're specially made for that, but they don't get as big. Um, if the tree was upside down, it wouldn't make any sense because then the leaves would be underground. The leaves need light. But... <sighs> I disagree. See, I've been watching this tree, and I don't think it needs light at all. Um, that's not what makes this tree grow. That's not why it's growing upwards. It's because the ground is too thick. The whole thing could just be underground. Why does it have to grow up? Why can't it grow outwards? Nobody knows what they're talking about. Did somebody try to tell me it's growing up toward the light. How would a tree go toward the light? There's light all over the place. The sun's not... The sun... Especially when... It, you know, the sun now... There are seven seasons. And the sun, from season to season, stays the same. And it's always over here in the right side of the sky. Why is the tree growing up? Not, if it's going towards the light or the sun, why wouldn't it just grow toward the sun or the light at this angle where the sun's at all seven seasons? But, so as I watch this tree, it behaves differently in the fall equinox. So in the fall equinox, right on the fall equinox, it starts to turn green. Um, and I've noticed in the summertime, it loses its leaves. Uh, but this is typical of trees. This is what they do. Uh, so what happened was... See the concrete out here? Now there's concrete too. See the concrete? There's concrete, there's that tree. There's concrete in the parking lot. And so, the way this got here was, um, now there's a river over here, and it's called the Stanislaus. That's the one closest to me, to my right. There's a San Joaquin, but that one's further down. This one's the Stanislaus, right here to my right. And... They took mud from the Stanislaus and they brought it over here and they just laid it out here and they went over it with steamrollers. Now, when you bake that in the sun for long enough, it hardens. And after they harden it, they brought out some black paint and just turned it into a blacktop. So you have the, you have, you can see what they did with it here. It's very nice. And it's frugal. It's organic, and it's making use of your resources. And what do you have in the city here to build a parking lot with? And so, the great, the, it was, you know, these, this is the result of the city planners. CVS agreed.
Oh, they didn't have to pay many people. They saved money. My steering wheel here. Now, see my steering wheel? Now, here's my steering wheel. Now, steering wheel, now, at first glance, you might think, you know, this has curvature to it. Circular. If you look harder, that's just first glance. That's like a physical appearance. Now, if you look harder and you think about the way that a box behaves. So boxes have four corners. If it's a four-cornered box. Because there, be there can be boxes that have no corners. There can be boxes that have six corners. So what this is is a box that has no corners. And we call this one a steering wheel. Now, there are some wheels. Now, there are wheels, steering wheels, that have corners, or even circles. Now, some circles have four corners. Some circles can be squared. But this is a square with no, no corners. So, now this light out here, now see this light. Now, many people are under the misconception that Thomas Edison had something to do with the electricity or Ben Franklin and light bulbs. And it was actually discovered long before that. Now, the true inventor of light bulbs was Jack the Ripper. And what happens is, see these light bulbs? Now, what happens is, when you turn these on, it turns the whole sky black. And so, what's really happening is, is that you're turning the sky off. It's kind of, it's like, well, you're turning the sky off. And it makes the light shine. When the sky is on, you can't really see much light. So, I was born in 1987 and to the <coughs> loving parents of Tim and Karen missed him and um, as time went on my hair turned to orange I came out bald <coughs> I was a natural bald Um, but this is just reality. So <clears throat> I'm getting over my schizophrenia. Um, what helped was I'm taking medicine now. I, I'm taking, I upped my dosage of Respiradol and I'm, I'm fighting emotions with Sopraxa. And so it's helping me, you know, I'm, I just, I'm feeling better about reality. My attachment to reality is coming back. I feel like I'm, I'm almost there. You know what I mean? Because I'm really almost there right now. I'm, I'm here. I'm attached now. The attachment is becoming stronger. The detachment is disappearing. I'm overcoming this with what actually is. And I'm just letting go of all the delusions that I used to have. <laughs> So
So, I'm sorry. Uh, I know not everybody speaks Japanese, but if there's a windstorm and you're caught rolling on top of an orange, but walking on your feet with it, just kicking it along, but balancing yourself and you're in tap dance shoes. What happens is there's most likely going to be thirsty people nearby. Um, and when you look into your life, and that's what's inside of a car's wheel. So the rubber. But only when it's slithering. Because as it produces hair, and it is, isn't it? That is what happens, isn't it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, yeah, it was an underwater cave. So. <coughs> It starts with a capital H and just make sure that you get enough fat in your diet because <laughs> so what fuels jet planes and um There's, now there's a walkie-talkie, but it was made out of brownie. I just put it in the oven, and I forgot about it. <laughs> I didn't set the timer. <laughs> and it just... So if you could see at least two things, and you had a memory bank, <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> um, so a delineator now walking up to you with a football and it's thrown. Home run. <laughs> we did. No, no, no. Because, no. Yeah, no. We, the, so there was a dilapidated building. And the fire team went inside. And they found a dolphin. Um, but it was in the bathtub. It had been in the water for too long. It was drowning. And <clears throat> it started snowing naked chickens. Cucumbers were growing off of trees. Yeah, they were. And inside of those were ants. But what I did see, too, was speaking of trees, there was a tree and it was growing monkeys. I mean, it was just budding and growing monkeys. And they just come out and they just fall off the tree and start running around and they'd poop out more monkey tree seeds. So. 
Nein. Now, if you want to study where green's at, I suggest first picking up a pencil. And using the eraser on the wall. Because socks. <laughs> and for too long, your skin uh, just it'll become wrinkled. So you don't throw out the baby with the bath water. If the cake's not there, too. You have to eat them both. I made a cake in the shape of a baby and ate it. This is an attachment to reality. I'm getting over my schizophrenia. So... <laughs> Delusions! Playoffs! The bears are who we thought they were! <laughs>